you're starring in the music of Sam Cooke. A change is gonna come, which kicks off January 20th. Um, yeah. Dates throughout Texas. Just yeah. talk about just talk about how the idea was spawned and how you became involved in the project. Mm. Um man, um, so I'm taking you back to 2009. Mm-hmm. So um, 2008, I was coming off of acting residency and I wasn't interested in standing in lines and waiting to get the next audition or to be hired for the next gig. And I really wanted to continue to evolve my, my acting chops and, and grow. And so I just, I wanted to do a show. I was sitting with a friend, we were talking about it and she handed me this book called Dream Boogie, um, the autobiography of Sam Cooke. And she was like, oh my God, you look just like him. It wasn't the first time I heard that. Um, but, you know, I had gotten with some producers and they wanted to, you know, record some Sam Cooke music, but we just never got around to it. Um, so I, I took, she allowed me to borrow the book and I started just studying. Um, so, you know, I'm studying and, and, you know, immersed myself in everything Sam Cooke for about three months. And when I came up, we, we did a show where um, I had saw so much of myself in Sam Cooke's young life, what he had done and what... Um, uh, where his career had gone up until his 33, because he died early at 33. Right. And I saw my a lot of myself and where I was at and where I wanted to go as far as my career was concerned in him. So, you know, it, it's, uh, so we did the, the one man show and I, I juxtaposed his life with my own. And uh, here we are, 2022, the show has evolved about as much as the, the music business has, and it's grown and grown and grown. And it's, you know, it, it went from me singing his music and mine to me just singing his music to me singing his music and telling his story to now we set you in the late 50s, early 60s with the ambiance and everything else, you know. Uh-huh. So it's it's a whole, I don't, it's not theatrical yet, but hopefully we can, we'll get there, you know, because my end game is Broadway. So hopefully you know, we can evolve it to the point where we can get it there at some point. But um, I love where we're at and I, I love how we've gotten here and hopefully we can keep going. Mm-hmm. 